guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is Saturday, September the 3rd. I, I literally just looked at my watch and I forgot. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, hey babe. Hello. <laughs> what did we do today? Today we fished the Queen City Kayak Bass Fishing Annual Co-Ed Event, which is what became of the ladies event. Mm -hmm. And we did it last year too. We did it last year, it was our anniversary. <laughs> this year was not. Um, yeah, I caught fish. I caught two shell crackers. Slash blue <laughs> Number one, I'm like the fifth cast here, probably about 13 inches. Or so. We just put in the water, it is 6:39 a.m., of course. Your turn, my turn. What is it measuring? 13. 13. Good start to the morning. Get my tail up, didn't even get my prayer finished. inches or so. 27 and a half inches or so. How many inches you got? We'll come back in a little bit and let you know. where are we going because we're obviously in now, a truck driving. I'm so excited too. Now we are going to Sakura mm -hmm. in Rock Hill, South Carolina to congratulate the winners. Because we did not <laughs> Because win. it wasn't us. <laughs> it was and, not us this time. But more importantly, we're going to get really good food. Yes, and maybe so. a drink. Maybe, maybe, maybe right. for you, uh, it'll probably put me to sleep. I don't know. I might not do a drink this time. Last time I had two, and on the way home, I got a little blue. Yeah. So. After being up since 2 a.m. Right. and then fishing for eight hours. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with some water, some sweet tea. Run into Sakura and drink a couple beers, go night night on the way home. That'd be no good. <laughs> you so, gotta drive. Yeah, no night nights. I, I cannot drive this. <laughs> so, yeah, we had fun. Um, I had fun. I was a little disappointed. I did get upset. Um, so what all happened? You, you, you bird's nested I bird's, twenty dollars worth of braid. I bird's nested <laughs> for the first time, and I cried about it like a little baby. And <laughs> um, I mean, brand new, casted maybe twenty times, bird nested to the point where I'm having to cut it out. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> You told me it happens to everybody. It happens to everybody. He said it, it happens, happens to, to everybody. everybody. This, um, let me remind how you learn. Let me remind everybody, let me remind you that I only got to practice one time with a bait caster. Thank you very much. So yeah, a couple hours. Yeah, so. Um, and then 
I proceeded to catch fish all around you. <laughs> and, and I caught nothing. Caught nothing. Well, the two little, little. And then at the end of the day, I managed to break the tip on my primary spinning reel yeah. rod. Um, so I'm going to have to buy one of those before the Murray turn. Yeah, and we could probably video and show them that too. That was pretty, and how did that happen? That happened because I was hung in a tree and a wake boat came by and I was more worried about you getting out of the way and I just quickly just jabbed it into the bait that was hung in the tree. So it's my fault. So you're saying it's your, my it fault. It your fault for the sake of safety and a godforsaken wake boat. Yeah, that was scary though. Yeah, I got scared because those wave, those um, waves from the wake boat were were pretty big. Those were, I, maybe those were the biggest I've seen. But because I turned around like you told me, and I'm used, I'm, I knew I needed to turn around, but I didn't know how big those were going to be. I didn't realize it. So that's the why you scared me. The best way to me. flip over a kayak is yeah. to catch a big wake at that kind of at the rear, and it have you, it kind of picks you up, it turns you over. Yeah. Um, if you're facing in the front, uh, while it might get you wet, you're probably not going to go over. Right. Anyway, I was I was concerned about that and, and decided just to real quick just jab my rod, hoping it would pop the shaky head loose, but um, it popped the rod tip loose instead. There has been several things happen today that have just made this day frustrating. Several things happen. So. I've, I caught six bass. I'm pretty happy. I, well, I'm, no, I'm, well, I just mean, you know, things like the bird's nest and everything. Uh, what are you trying to say here? Like, do you guys hear this? This I mean, is how I'm, he treats me. Witness. It, everything's do witness. a competition. No, okay, so the reason I cried, I, 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 honest to God, I realize now, I, today, I just realized how competitive I am. I did not realize that I was going to cry during a tournament because I bird's nested the freaking rod that I and reel that I wanted to use the whole time and that I had been using the whole time. Well, that was the magical V twin buzz bait on that rod, so she was V twinless. Yeah. I offered her mine, but she wouldn't take it. I'm doing the hand thing. That's how you know I'm mad when I talk about it because I'm really frustrated about that. I'm still not over it, so I just don't want to talk about it anymore. So this is my husband's parking job at Sakura, so he doesn't take up parking spaces. He was so worried about taking up parking spaces, he decided that this was a good idea. Alright. Well babe, you feel good about yourself? I feel good about that parking job, it only took up one instead of Exactly. Five. That's what I told them. Okay, so... Here's his broken pole. I yeah, know that knife's sharp. I barely had to touch that. I feel so bad. I feel so bad that you have a broken pole. I'm sorry, babe. We'll replace it. We'll replace it. You hear me? Yeah. I hear. You're pretty upset about it, aren't you? No, I actually didn't like it. What? Are you kidding me? Plot twist. <laughs> I bought it. It's a hundred dollars, and I, it's not very sensitive. You're my, like that was a hundred dollar ball. My ugly stick was more sensitive, but it's a Saint Croix Triumph. It's the cheap one, and not very durable. I've I've gotten shit free way easier than that. Not broke. Okay, so here is the bait caster that I was using. It was full. <laughs> It was full. We're and, still picking it up. And I cried. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm. I'm gonna be a hundred percent. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest here. I cried. I was really disappointed in myself because when I practiced with it, I felt really confident. You guys saw it in the last video. Um, I felt really confident. I think I felt too confident. And so, what happened was, I had messed it up. And so I was actually trying to fix it when I did that so um I I was pretty disappointed and he came over he was like look at me it's okay <laughs> it's okay but it is what it is it was a tough day some days are tough on the water not all days can be great I'll probably take this since it's brand new off run 
mono up to about that point and fill it up the rest of the way with this. Gotcha. And you only need. I really like that one. You too. only need as much as you can cast. I if really you like don't this one. Anymore. What is this? It is a loose carbon fire. It's it's pretty much like the Mach Two or the Crush. Right. But it's like it has one less bearing or something like mm -hmm. that, which. You know, I, I honestly, I like the way this one feels better than the other one that you gave me at the end of the day to use. Well, um, yours, <laughs> your other one. That's a $60 Amazon spec. That's why I don't like it, I guess, because this feels a lot smoother. That one, I wondered why it felt so. It's For one, it's much lighter in your hand. It feels like there's nothing there. The other one, well, that's why I like it. I use it for a spinner bait, crank mm -hmm. bait, mostly a spinner bait. Yeah. But what it does is um, it has a medium, moderate flex. So if I get one hooked on it, it don't come off. Yeah. If you get one hooked on these with a crankbait or something, and they shake real hard as you're about to net them, they pop off a lot. Yeah. It's. We drove to South Carolina to meet at Socorro with the other members of um, the other members of Queen City that were participating in. So it was a two and a half hour drive. Two and a half hours? Fish for eight hours. Hour drive, basically. 56 minutes or whatever it was. Yeah. We're going to eat, and then it's another two hour, two and some change drive home. And it's my job to do what, babe? Keep me awake. It's my job to keep myself awake so that I can keep you awake. And that's gonna be really hard to do like last time when you eat a crap ton of food at Sephora and your belly's full and you're ready for bed. You have to wait that long. How long to get home? About two hours. Two hours. Oh, by then it's gonna be digested and It'll it's gonna be, be like... close to probably 10 o'clock. So that's it's a pretty good day. Mm, yeah. <laughs> pretty good day. Pretty good day. I had fun. Did you have fun? Always. Always. Always have fun out on the water. Me too. Me too. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be into fishing. And this journey's been really fun, learning, so. And I'm really excited to bring you guys along on the journey because how many, how far am I in? Like how, how long has it been you've been teaching me? Like a I year mean, and a half, been two years? We've together since basically the beginning of our relationship. Yeah, but I mean really teaching uh, me. We've been fun fishing as far as for 15 years more serious and want to learn different techniques besides just what I tie on for you and learning to tie your own baits. Yeah, actually learning how to tie my own baits and, and... And make your own decisions on like where to fish and stuff is probably going on just about a year. About a year? Okay. I feel like it's been longer, but I tried to, I, I tried to remind myself well, today this, it's uh, only been May this long. Year, Don't um, cry about it. May of last year on the co-ed event. Practice makes uh, perfect. You had pretty much stopped by 9.30 a.m. Yeah. Um, so about three hours in, you were done. Yeah, um, it's I've come a long way. You fished the whole time today. In fact, you fished to the basically the final bell. Oh, I was, I was, I would have still fished. I was determined to a, get she one. She wanted a bass, but it's just, it's one of those days. I was ready to go for another hour. Like, I could have gone another hour for a fish, <laughs> honestly. Personally, I had enough. Yeah. It's just, if you would have had none, though, you would have felt the same, you know? Yeah. Or we'd have left an hour earlier. Yeah. All right, I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to go sit in the truck while I wait. I don't share steak. Seriously. <laughs> Guys, thanks for being here. Um, it's always good seeing you at weigh-ins, but when we can see each other over dinner and enjoy food being thrown at us here in a minute, Shelly, um, it's, uh, you know, it's really a good time and it shows what Queen City is. So thanks for fishing the second annual co-ed event. For those of you who don't know or have questions, it used to be the ladies' event. Uh, the numbers kind of dwindled and we, the ladies agreed to let the men in on it. I turned it into the co-ed event. So this was the second year of the co-ed event. Last year was pretty big, uh, 18 or 19 teams. This year, not as big. It is Labor Day weekend. It was, if you get, you guys see the calendar, it's one of the only days we had open. So I dropped it in and uh, we're gonna have some good food. Sakura is a sponsor of us. 
Why is your mom a dart fan? What do y'all think? Kyle is an angler with us who will be serving us tonight. They give us a $50 gift you know, card every month that's on the table. So uh, we are supporting who supports us tonight. So appreciate that. And I hope you guys have fun today. Let's have some good food. So third place came with a prize pack full of awesome stuff from our amazing sponsors, but there is no way I'm taking this. So in fourth place, we have Life Unhooked. Kinley and Lauren Martin, you're going to go home with a prize pack today. Oh, how about that? So there's, I mean, 